My name is Jamil Scott. I'm a PhD candidate at Michigan State University. Uh, my research focuses on candidate emergence, uh, particularly for women and minority candidates. Um, it's a way to examine why women and minority candidates decide to run for office. My name is Kerem Ozan Kalkan. I'm an assistant professor at Eastern Kentucky University. My substantive research focuses on intergroup attitudes, particularly attitudes toward Muslims and attitudes of Muslims living in the U.S. and Western democracies. What course do you teach for the summer program? Race and ethnicity, quantitative methods. I teach two courses, race, ethnicity, and quantitative methods, and also introduction to R. This is a little bit different from the rest of the ICPSR courses because there's a strong substantive component to this course too. So we are not just focusing on methods in these courses, but we are also focusing on substantive topics like what is prejudice, stereotype, intergroup attitudes, anti-immigration attitudes, that kind of stuff. And this is why by the end of this course, we expect the students to understand and examine substantive topics and methods that use to analyze those topics. In other words, we are trying to balance this course so that students or participants will have a, a good theoretical and comprehensive understanding of uh, the literature, theoretical basis, and build empirical modeling, uh, causal inference, measurement on top of this theoretical understanding. So that, those are the goals of this course. The course is formatted such that um, we do days where we focus on the sub uh, substantive understanding of topics involving um, the, just the, the concepts that go along with race and ethnicity. Um, we do uh, days where we do replication examples and uh, days where we more explicitly talk about measurement and how to measure the topics that we uh, substantively talked about. The, the assignments follow a logic in this course. We start with, um, we ask first students to design their own survey instrument. Uh, that's the first assignment to measure intergroup attitudes. After they design that questionnaire, then we ask them to seek out um, IRB certification. Certification means that you are certified to apply for IRB approval. By the end, we expect that the participants, when they leave this class, they will actually have a grant application, a rough draft of grant application. In terms of prerequisites, it's important that students have an understanding of regression um, because I think that the topics that we touch on in class go beyond that and extend on the regression assumptions. In terms of the backgrounds of participants, I think it largely varies. Um, so there are some participants who are professors and there are some participants who are um, students, uh, graduate students, in their learning about um, these, uh, they're learning about these concepts of that have to do with race and ethnicity and trying to contend with the measurement aspect of it. Um, there are even some students who are going into graduate school yeah, or in the they class. Just yeah. Uh, so it's a really eclectic class in that there are people bringing different perspectives in the room in terms of how they think about these concepts. Um, people are from all different disciplines, so uh, we have to take that into account uh, when we talk about it. And it's also really interesting to hear those perspectives when people bring in their own disciplinary perspective in how race and ethnicity is talked about and sometimes measured. Please take the course. Yes. Um, it's. I think a really interesting course and uh, a really interesting time to think about measurement and why we measure things the way that we do and how race and ethnicity is a really important concept that sometimes is neglected, but it's important. So, so take it. Take it. <laughs>